the nation. We have got the information. Tell me quick, I'm starting to smart and eyes growing colder, lips growing bolder. I would love to give you all of my views. In news with Tony Bennett in fine voice, John Lennon in a Rolls Royce, Richard Burton reading James Joyce, and the Brooklyn Mob making things voice. First, these headlines Mount Baldy gets new toupee. <laughs> President of Mason Jars flips lid. Milton Burl steals Henny Youngman's wife, please. And now it's time for the news of the present, and for those of you who don't like the looks of the present news, here's Dick, and the odds are. <laughs> Dateline, Los Angeles. Bruce Van Etta, the man who does impressions of famous fruits, was arrested last night for jaywalking while crossing Hollywood Boulevard dressed as a peach. He was picked up by the fuzz. <laughs> there was a way to read the, the that. The fuzz picked him up, ah. yes. Go ahead. The author of the new hit Broadway show, Lenny, about the life of Lenny Bruce, is being sued by the owner of the club Bim Bam, Wally Foonman. Mr. Foonman claims that the entire script was copied verbatim from the back wall of his men's room. <laughs> Makes sense to me. The warden of the federal... Should have, you wrote it. <laughs> the warden of the federal penitentiary in Atlanta said today that the conjugal... Conjugal. I'll have that, too. That the conjugal visits allowed prisoners in cell block C have proved so successful, they're even thinking about letting wives come in now and then. <laughs> and now here's Don with the news of the future. 20 years from now, here's the news of the future. Sex change operations for men have become so commonplace that the operation is now routine in most hospitals. Doctors have you out of bed and walking on high heels the next day. <laughs> Kind of like the other one, isn't it? <laughs> no, I certainly hope not. News of the future 20 years from now. As a concession to women's lib, ladies have finally been allowed to compete against men in professional boxing. Now, you're going to have to pay attention to this. I'm waiting. I'm on tender hooks. Yes. The sport, the sport still remains basically the same, the only noticeable difference being that now it takes hours to break up the clinches. <laughs> and you can't hit above the belt either. <laughs> the future moving right along 20 years from now a strange craft from outer space landed on earth today as people nervously gathered around the capsule five creatures with green skin six eyes webbed feet and tentacles emerged they were immediately rounded up and whisked off to appear as contestants on let's make a deal in hollywood many restaurants have the practice of naming dishes after famous celebrities Is that a thing? that's the truth in uh, new washington and uh, oh new Wa uh, actually it was what i <laughs> make that new restaurant in washington now what they're doing is naming dishes for uh, political figures Madam, are you ready to order? Well, no, not quite. Uh, oh, what's in the red, white, and blue plate special? Oh, well, we have the George McGovern chicken fricassee. Uh -huh. It's made with only left wings. Oh. Sounds expensive. Gee, I'm really not that hungry. Oh. Oh, here. Well, then why don't you order something from our federal snack bar? We have the Felix Frankfurters and Warren Burgers and the John Lindsay sandwich. Oh, what's in that? Uh, switch cheese. That sounds good. Uh, what else have you got? Anything to drink? Oh, of course. We have the new Pentagon Pop. It's full of secret ingredients. Unfortunately, a lot of people find it very hard to swallow. Oh, let's forget it. What have you got for dessert? Oh, well, we have the Spiro Agnew Crepe Suzettes covered with flaming rhetoric. Anything else? Oh, well, yeah. The Jimmy Hoffa Baked Alaska. The president himself comes over and takes it out before it's done. <laughs> Now let's visit two of Hollywood's beautiful people at home for breakfast with Lance and Tina. Good morning. Good morning, Tina. Well, here we are having breakfast with Mike Connors, star of Search. I am not the star of Search. My what? 
you know, what, since when are we having breakfast with bit players? I am not a bit player. You mean you're not even working? Now, wait a minute. This is getting silly. Well, it certainly is. Now we're having breakfast with an unemployed bum actor. <laughs> First, proof positive that show business can be cruel and heartless. Show business is not cruel and heartless. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> Two minutes ago, poor old Merv here was the star of his own series. And now he's an out-of-work, has-been sponging actor, wrecking off us biggies. Ridiculous. <laughs> And now a special showbiz item. Tonight's guest telecaster, one of America's top TV columnists, Kay Gardella. Richard Burton today outdid himself when for Elizabeth's birthday, he presented her with an 81 pound emerald. Elizabeth will wear it at a big party tonight as soon as she has her hips pierced. Now to Japan for a glance at the Nippon News. Hello, Aken. It's time for the Japanese news. Tonight, we are going to interview Toshiro Sakanda, one of the greatest of all World War II kamikaze pilots. He ought to be here any second now. Well, back to you, Dan and And now over the wall to East Berlin. We have a new policy now in East Berlin that any citizen wishing to visit West Berlin can do so by merely turning in a written request. And two close relatives. <laughs> now at his own business section, Patty Deutsch. A good evening, business buffs. In an effort to attract more customers, Air Burbank has commissioned Joseph Minsky, former owner of burlesque theaters, to develop a jumbo jet that will do bumps and grinds all the way down the runway while the passengers yell, take it off! Take it off! Now to close the news, these inspiring words. Pookie, pookie, pookie. 